beautiful sunny spring like day here in Yankish, New York and I'm gonna check the van inside all right it's been a while since I posted new videos but it was cold I had to freeze the project again <laughs> and I was using tool primarily this one but also I conducted some research and shopping online to see what's around and what I may get in the future so one of the things I did search for and this so the idea getting a new RAM Pro Master which is here would run me around 30 $31,000 if I do my $10,000 down payment plus low interest rate it will be probably $316 uh, per month for 72 months which not too bad but this is kind of short version if you go with the longer one it's gonna cost more money also comparing to uh, transit which is more expensive with the way I set it up I get it with all windows and uh, the color I want it has more room apparently it's uh, the high roof gives you more headroom to play with and um, of course it's more money 37 grand so I have to decide on what I want to do it's not gonna happen tomorrow it's not gonna happen this year unless I hit the lottery <laughs> okay or I get a sponsor which is not gonna happen I don't play lottery and I'm working hard to make this money so the deal here is that I will have to finish this, this project and the main issue now as you remember perhaps you remember power steering is leaking so I still didn't take it to repair I'm waiting until the weather is getting better and snow is gonna melt hopefully soon and the next uh, maybe three weeks or so I'm gonna try to take it to a place in Brooklyn which is about 30 miles away I may have to select route with um, more exits more possibility to move over and fill up the power steering um, reservoir for this reason I bought extra power steering fluid I bought about a gallon plus I have a couple of uh, uh, bottles here and there just in case I'd rather get it there safe uh, and avoid a power steering pump getting seized and um, the belt will fly off definitely so I have to avoid that problem plan is to replace power steering pump and hoses reinforce mounts with um, steel plates and do the estimate on other possible uh, maintenance dash replacement not this dash the slash I would say <laughs> okay um, since the last video the microwave is gone it went to the house to replace the one which stopped working it probably gonna come back 
because I'm planning to get uh, exactly the same one. I like it in the house, so 900 watt is pretty good for the house and for the van. I'm not gonna go back to 700 watt, it's too weak. Um, besides this, my plan is to use another drawer from this set. Um, that one is taller and narrower. It has five drawers. I'm planning to adapt it to install in this area. Pretty sure it's gonna be just two drawers, not more, because uh, to compare this, that's the drawer from the third part. To compare it, I can place it next to each other and you can see it's almost the same size. So I'm not gonna have this much space here. I may have to uh, remove it and place it somewhere else because it might be on the way because it doesn't have enough clearance here for to install the uh, two drawers because they're gonna be about here so I think this one's gonna go and I may place it on the side somewhere uh, it's still time to play with it and figure it out it's beautiful today I have 63 degree on board and humidity is kind of nice 39% only so I opened the I mean I opened the shades to get some sun inside and uh, so they all actually need to take their previous shape which is they've been in closed position for a while in the uh, open of course all right anyway um, also this area fully completed I'm not going to do anything else but over here I have to decide one what, what I want to do here mm, I think I'm gonna make a shelf and place it in here after all the wires finalized and organized and isolated Okay, this area, I'm not sure if I want to do any beautification or I may do something. Also, this kind of like sticking out, I don't like this, may cover it with something. Wires, uh, well, this area will be covered and I may want to replace this unit with um, different fuse box which may adapt more fuses than just six but it's still in the future still the project not in a hurry to do that in this area right here is my concern for the future that I need just to cover this portion install the um, what used to be power converter control center which is this part right here this portion where the fuses go not used because it's no longer provides 12 volt output they're just the main uh, circuit breaker which powers up everything including including this power converter this is basically main breaker which is which I'm planning to keep because because I think it's just a convenience of shutting the power everywhere instantly okay the bed is going to be the same arrangement I just planning to maybe cover these legs. This where's the leg? It's right here. <laughs> With uh, either dark vinyl or something else, just make it look more, um, let's say, a little bit better design, just the bare wood. And I don't want to do 
and I, I don't want to stain it or paint it I just want to cover it with some soft material uh, most likely this is gonna stay the same way I may just um, create some kind of cover over here and to accommodate the switch because uh, that might be the water pump switch and uh, uh, something else I would say this will be I have to think of <laughs> all of this what I want to do um, like I said I'm not planning to build any cabinets here it's just gonna be the shelf and it's just gonna be the shelf I have more than enough storage to go camping and travel because I'm not living in the van so that's a uh, little review of this portion of the van now let's say the camera rear view camera which is pretty good who's there <laughs> somebody, somebody shower in the snow back there Oh, that's uh, one of our porters, yeah, and super <laughs> boys. Well, what happened one time, I, a couple of times actually, over the winter, I forgot to turn off the camera when I was reversing, parking the van, and it killed the battery totally. It just drained it totally. Zero, flat. So, I had to take it to the garage and uh, recharge it and that's why I have one battery charged all the time it still works very well holds in power pretty good so the one I have right now is uh, almost new and the other one in the garage right now uh, it's charged and it's um, been on a float charged actually the solar panel I took out the front from the dashboard and I placed it on the roof to get some Sun I should have done it early morning today but uh, I did not so it went up a little bit more because today it dropped down to 9.6 so if tomorrow morning we have Sun I'll bring it out my 100 watt solar panel and I place it on the roof so this much pretty much review of uh, latest updates March 20th will keep you updated as soon as I fix the van I may even take the video of urban camping or stealth camping by the repair shop because I'm planning to stay overnight next to it and um, unless they're gonna check me in through the gate and lock the gate behind the van then I have to worry about I can just walk to the apartment which is not too far away from there so but I want to be early bird so they take my van right in give me estimate so I know what I'm looking to spend I hope it's not gonna be crazy amount of money so far I've learned that replacing power steering pump uh, I mean not power steering pump sorry the power steering gear gearbox and hoses could run around altogether like $700 so maybe a little bit more depends on the shop the main issue that high roof won't accommodate in any shop you need to go to the shop which will be that's my my future van that's what I want that's what I want ramp pro master extended mm -hmm. beauty okay so that's pretty much it I keep you updated have a nice day everybody enjoy spring I love this weather I just want that snow to be gone soon all right have a nice day